So I guess Jose Mourinho will still be a little bit bitter about that last minute goal he conceded against uh, Manchester United in the last Premier League game and he'll have to reshuffle a few things uh, with Ivanovic being out suspended and Diego Costa set to make a return uh, so we'll see how it pans out here we'll give you a prediction of the game if you're watching after the game make sure to leave your comments in, below, in the section below and let me know whether you think I was right or not it's Friday here at TYT Sports Let's Talk Tactics So Manchester United in Chelsea was a game that uh, provided a lot of insight into both teams' tactics Jose Mourinho took, an, uh, took a lead with Drogba's goal and wanted to hold on to that lead and he'd done it very successfully until a, uh, a free kick was given Ivanovic was sent off and Manchester United levelled the game um, at 1-1 and then uh, Jose Mourinho's left with a bit of taste in his mouth and he's thinking will he shape things up against a team that's very weak it has to be said QPR are so weak at this point um, you need to wonder whether Chelsea are going to run all over them or whether they're going to go out with their standard uh, formation that they played against Manchester United. So here's the way they lined up against United in the last game. Obviously, there has been a lineup in between in the Capital One Cup, but they made some changes. Still stuck to the same formation, but Ivanovic will not be playing. Yeah, suspended, so don't have to change that up. I think Azpilicueta well, could make a return. I'm not sure if he's still suspended or not. So that's something that Mourinho has to touch on. Whether they are fouls or not, they are getting red cards, and that's something that Mourinho, I imagine, will not stand for. So we'll need to shuffle that up. But your standard Cahill Terry, feel it. Luis, who I thought was pretty good against Manchester United. Then you go Fabregas, Matic, the strong uh, midfield partnership in there. Well, Ian, Oscar, Hazard and Drogba. So the thing that I wanted to talk about is Ramirez could be making a return. And we touched upon this in a previous tactics video. I don't know if you want to check it out. If you bring in Ramirez, what does this do straight away? Float him right in here. Fabregas can push up and play in this role where he can do what he does best and find mid midfield threaded passes through there. So it's a point that I'm going to keep reiterating because I think Ramirez, if he's fit, gives that different dimension in there. And I don't think Oscar was as good against Manchester United. He's a player that kind of plays off form. If you maybe bring him off the bench, he'll be good in this game against QPR. But here's something I wanted to touch on. Could they do this? Could they play Diego Costa and Drogba together against QPR because the thing about these two is they're both goal scorers Drogba's picking up a bit of form now his header against Manchester United was so Drogba-esque the way he done against Bayern Munich reminded me a goal of that peeling off the front man off a set piece and winning the ball in the air putting it in the back of the net I think with his run of form you don't want to drop him you could bring Costa in and just go and play a 4-4-2 straight away uh, which allows maybe you play Fabregas in there because he is doing a better job at defending play him in there with Matic and then you've got Hazard and Ramirez could play there which could be very dangerous and allow for so much movement up top because Drogba likes to peel off a little bit more come in deeper as he did against Manchester United pick the ball up in these areas and link up but then that would give room for Diego Costa to make these runs straight in behind it's intriguing I don't know it might happen defensively and um, they still look strong conceding one goal against Manchester United they did a brief scare against Shrewsbury but they did manage to, to, to take it back up a notch and win that game I don't think they should be worried too much defensively against QPR could eat my own words here but I just think that they are very strong at the back and Mourinho has them focused on the Premier League and uh, the way they are playing they still are the favourites for me in this competition so that's my suggestion if they went with a 4-4-2 against QPR I think they would run them over I think Drogba and Costa could go on the score sheet whether he wants to risk Costa coming back we don't know uh, make sure that if you're watching after the game as I said let me know in your section below I predict a 3-0 win, win here for Chelsea in this game um, if I'm right Right. Say thank you, say congratulations in the comment below. If I'm wrong, make sure to leave your comments and why follow us on Twitter at TIT Sports and me at Francis underscore Maxwell. Thanks again. <laughs>